you're either in or you're in the way. I'm feeling pressure this week to make up for my routine last week because that didn't go over so well with the judges. So in my performance this week, I really have to shine. You just stand strong, keep those shoulders back, and keep that chin up and be the Hadley that I know. You know, don't cut yourself short because there's gonna be a lot of people throughout the course of your lifetime that are gonna cut you short. Our game plan is to go into the elimination this week confident. I mean, we need to step up our game and we need to step it up together. Remember what I said to you the other day? When I'm working with you, I'm not your mom anymore, I'm what? My teacher. Okay. We're gonna get ready for the day and new outfit. We've been here too long, so I it's really miserably homesick. Sam, guess what? Lexine made it through for another week. Yes. Um, just keep smiling, babe, and also just have fun, yeah? Look like you're having a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Keep your move super sharp. Okay. So wish Lexine luck. I miss you. With only seven dancers left, the kids and their moms are feeling the pressure. This is going to be another tough week for all of them. And I can't wait to let them know what I have in store for them. Hey, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Now, each week, we have focused on a different skill that you will all need if you want to become the first ever winner of Abby's ultimate dance competition. Your skill this week is improvisation. The big thing now at auditions is improv. They want to see you think quick on your feet. This is you getting to bring yourself to the dance floor. You need to be creative in your thinking. You need to be smart in your choices. And you never, ever want to do anything that you don't do really well. Are you guys ready to meet the choreographer for this week's group dance challenge? Guess what? There isn't one. Doing things a little different this week. We're going to have an improv dance off right here and now. Knowing that I have to do a dance battle right now, it's kind of like, take a step back. What style you're going to go for? What are your best moves you want to incorporate? Could you pull from anything? And then go. All right, so here's how this dance off is going to work. Two of you will step up. Abby will tell you who's going to dance first. You're then on. You show us your best dance moves. She'll tell you when to stop. The next dancer is up. You will dance. We'll go back and forth like that until Abby picks a winner. The next dancer up will take on that winner. That winner stays. We'll do that until there is one dancer remaining, and that dancer is the winner of the challenge. Cool? Yes. Yes. Stay in your zone. You never want to really touch another person, but definitely threaten your opponent. It makes me kind of excited and nervous at the same time that the skill this week is improvisation. I get really nervous because I have to think a lot, and then at the same time, I'm excited because I get to show all my strengths. First up, Asia against Hadley. If this was an Aiden under competition, hands down, Asia should win. But come on, this is 13 and under. Come on. Game on. And go. for a dancer who thinks outside the box. Somebody creative, somebody innovative, somebody that I would want on my team. And sit down. Lexine. So I noticed Lexine's looking a little nervous. Maybe the nurse got a hold of her today. the wrong beat of the music and I know I still have to push harder but I know she's going to come right back at me with some sassy moves. Go. Asia's crazy. Asia is like a cat. She's had nine lives. You know, she should have been cut the second week. Bye-bye. That's not fair. Lexine did not get to improv the second time which she gave everybody a chance. So I thought, okay, whatever, you know. And go! Go! Fueling up the super play. I'll be on my way. I gotta teach you that. But first, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say,
I think we can tango right off the floor. You deserve a break. So you're gonna sit and rest? Sometimes you say, what are you looking for? What are you looking at? A child that is constantly just doing the same movement when she's improv Get your tangle ways and go sit? Really? All right, next two. Jordan! I love the idea of doing an improv contest. There's no rules, there's not a right or a wrong, but you have to show all your best skills and just go for it, you're in it to win it. And stop, Madison, you're up, go! She found the beat of the music. She was starting to get into the groove, but Jordan played it safe. She just doesn't have that attack. See Brianna touch Madison's hair, I thought, oh, why did you do that? Sit down. And then, boom, she was knocked out. This is the final face off. Ready, girls? Play music. And you're on. Madison has improv a lot. She's at dance conventions, and she thinks quick on her feet. She knows what to do, so I'm feeling confident that Madison will be fine in improv. Top that! Asia's face somewhat better than they like a 13-year-old's technique. There's no fair game in dance. It's an opinion. I think you rocked it out in the end. And a great sense of musicality. Madison, I'm sorry, you are not the challenge winner, but an outstanding job. Yes! Madison should have won that competition, hands down. I don't know what Abby was looking at. Um, she didn't outshine her technique, but she outshined her in the facial, and that's what I think Abby was looking at. This week's theme is journey through the decades. That means we're gonna take different genres of fad dances from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, all the way up into the 80s and 90s, and put them into choreography for the competition on stage. Asia, you won. That means you get to choose your competition routine. Your choices are a 20s flapper solo, a 50s duet, a 60s go-go dancing solo, an 80s pop duet, and a 90s hip hop solo. I felt there's favoritism on Asia. It was too obvious because she's doing the same thing over and over. Make a decision here. An 80s pop duet. Interesting, okay. She looks sassy and awesome and cute. That's why she won the challenge. I was upset. I was really upset. This week, I'm giving out three solos and two duets. I want to see how some kids will handle the spotlight and also how some of them will handle sharing it. I'm really excited for my solo this week. I have 60s go-go. I'm a little nervous because I haven't done a solo yet in the competition. So this is our prop for the week. That's a big we prop. We have a, yes. At first when I see the box, I'm a little concerned because I know that Madison's probably going to be doing turns on that box. And I know that she's going to be concerned of falling off. Do we have to use the box? <laughs> yes, we do. And 801. Yeah. And no turns. No more notes from you. I'm choreographing this piece. She's up high. She's turning in a four by four space. So 
I was concerned for her. Do you think they need to cut the prom? No, I think it'll be okay. I think it's just a matter of her getting, getting used, to, used it. to it. Right, and it's and practicing it's, with it, and that's well, my it's concern. It's only been 45 minutes. I think Gita wants to kick me out of her rehearsal because I'm putting too much of my two cents in, but I just want the best for Madison. Welcome to the 20s. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. My dance assignment this week is a 20s flapper solo. We're going to show off your legs. We're going to show off your turns. We're going to show off that you're a girl. All right, are you excited for that? Yes. Yes? I'm happy that I finally get a solo, but I'm also nervous just because so far, there's only been one solo that's helped someone, and that was Amanda's solo. The rest of the solos have kind of hurt them. Should I say roadkill? Right? There's like these little moments of surprise. Ah, this solo routine is really going to push Brianna. It's completely out of her comfort zone. This girly, girly part of her, it's going to challenge her and push her to a place that I don't think she's really ever been before. What are you doubting? Is it just doing a solo in front of all these people? Yeah. Yes, okay. Honey, you have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. Oh, you're going behind her now? No, we were supposed to do it in front. I am just overwhelmed about the whole thing. I'm away from home for several weeks. I am just going out of my mind. So I, I finally, you know, just cried it all out. <laughs> I'm just frustrated about the whole thing. Christy, the last person I want to see. I still have reservation because she's a competitor for me. We're going to practice it until the timing's right. And you know and I know what it looks like when it's yeah. good. With Asian and Lexine, I'm afraid for Lexine. You know, no matter what, Asia will always shine because she just has that magic in her. Yeah, hang with me, though, because I'm really yeah. weak right now. I know, you're good. Come on. You're good. You're good. Let's go. Let's watch him. Turn this frown around. Go from eight, six, seven, eight, go one. I'm really excited because I'm with Amanda, and Amanda does have better technique than me, but I have other areas that are stronger than her. Having to work with Yvette this week is going to take a lot of control and patience on my part. Don't mess with me, because I will protect. I will protect my daughter. Yeah. The music is a lot of fun. It used to be Yvette's era. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, I placed Amanda in a hip hop piece. So I think that Malin is still very emotional about it. Jordan's doing a 90s themed hip hop. She needs to bring it. Just because it's her genre of dance, her forte, doesn't mean she can back down. So you want to attack it like you're about to go 120 miles per hour and then, but not really. I love hip hop and I'm really excited because I have a solo by Q. Not bad, not bad. Go ahead and grab some water real quick. Okay. You're, you're throwing your arms out straight on that, you know, on this part. But when you're doing, when you're over here, do that. And you're doing the heels. Make sure that, because I know now you're working on getting your arms straighter and really throwing them hard, but don't don't forget the heel. Jordan struggles with taking critiques from me. There's not many kids that I know today that take criticism well, you know, especially from their parents. But if somebody else tells them, you know, it's fine. It looks sloppy when you throw them out. We finally get a little break from the competition. Go to the coffee shop with Yvette, Kelly, Corina, myself. If you're gonna speak to someone about something that you have inside, that's the perfect moment to do it. That's like last week. She put a man in hip hop, and I still don't understand why. I don't like people that are two-faced. I had a choice, Malin. I didn't no. get tapped. Oh, so you're going there. <laughs> Is that the game that you play? Where did you want her? I don't know. I wanted you to be fair. And I thought maybe putting her in hip hop, you were not at that moment in time. Where would you put kids? No, I think that I would put them where they would do the best. Really? Yes, I would. Yes. Really? Come on, Maylin. After what I've gone through with Christy, you're nothing. 
I will change the whole thing if I don't like it. I, I'm not like that. I don't think like that. I think differently. I agree 100%. Last week, Mei Lin was not happy about her putting Amanda in the hip hop group. This is a competition and there is a strategy and that was Yvette's strategy. I try not to set anybody else for failure or anything no, like that. You that know? moment, I it's thought, fun. you know what? It's happy and I. Look at this setup. Yvette can bring as many strategies to the table as she wants, but I'm not buying any of them because I have seen it all. And to me, she is just another dance mom. I know it's a competition, but I don't want your child to be on that stage and be torn in that way. Hell no. I will protect any child, whether it's mine or not. What do you want me to tell you? All right, now do it properly with arms, please. I want to see tension. I don't want to see lips open. I'm not here to make her life miserable. I'm here. I'm on her team. You continue to slide out and do a lunge with a turned-in foot. Turn out your foot correctly and point it. I have been. things that you learned when you were three and four years old. I could be at home with my son and my husband, but I'm here with you, and it's not for recess and playtime. And you're just going to sit here and continue to be lazy when what you should be doing is busting your butt and getting it right. You better take this seriously. I am. I'm just doing it. I'm here to win this. I need to know if you are, too. Yes. No, you, you, you talk the big talk. Now dance the big dance. We're back. It's competition day, and the girls and the moms don't have a lot of time to get ready. We got to do this today. You promise me that this is going to happen. With seven dancers left, they're going to have to dance like they've never danced before to survive another week. We're not even focused on that. We're not bringing it with us. All the time I say to you, it's never your setback that matters. It's always your comeback that counts. Yeah. All right, we're coming back this week. Mm -hmm. We're going to show Abby and Richie and Robin, and we're not going home. I can't believe this. I'm still rhinestoning every time. Yvette? Do you need help? I'm starting to get hot again. You need to calm me down. Okay. Can I panic? Don't. The bra Don't. is not working. No, no, we got oh my this. god, I'm shaking now. Nothing is going right pretty much this morning because I'm nervous. Lexine is nervous. Costumes, I didn't get to finish it. I think I'm crying right now. No, nope. stop, stop. Just pull yourself together for your daughter. Come on. Maria is a loose cannon. She's a tornado, but I will tame the tornado. Please welcome Robin Anton. She's the creator and choreographer of the Pussycat Dolls. Next to Robin is Mr. Richie Jackson. He's the visual director and choreographer for Lady Gaga. And on the end over here, the queen of dance moms. It's Abby Lee Miller. Give it up. No, the brush not working, and it's not done. Tonight, the pressure is crazy. Everybody's freaking out. Brianna had a meltdown. Brianna, open the door. She's is an amazing dancer, and I don't think she should have been really nervous. Yeah, I swear to God, the the don't psych yourself out. All right. Brianna is freaking out, and I don't know why, but I just, I'm just not used to her being that extremely nervous. I'm stressed out to, um, perform because this is the first time I'm doing a solo in this competition. So this is really important to me. You're so pretty. Thank you. OK. All the routines performed by our dancers will be a different style from a different decade. Now it's time to step into the roaring 20s, where Brianna will give us her best impression of a prohibition era flapper. Let's give her a hand.
I love that you had subtleties, that it was slower, that we could see your lines. I love the walking and just all the little nuances of the choreography, the little things. Thank you. Okay. You are the kind of dancer that I would hire, that I would want to work with, that I would put with different artists, because you know how to just go from left to right. And in this choreography, what I love is that it was silent, but you spoke so loud and it was so clean and it was effortless. What I love is that each dance move gave you a different emotion. What's the one thing that I would want to see in this piece? Or Robin Venus. Anton, Pussycat Dolls. A drop. Heels. Go and, and look up Sid Cherise right, and, 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 and Singing in the Rain and look at the number that she does and she's doing fan kicks and she, I mean, it is the most gorgeous number you've ever seen and she's in heels no. and she's in this kind of outfit and it's crazy hot. You're on your way to a great career. Yes, yeah. you are. Thank you so much. Brianna's hard work paid off and I was proud of her. <laughs> Our second dance of the evening is a swing dance duet from the 50s. Here are Hadley and Amanda. The competition is narrowing down to the best of the best. If I get the same kind of critiques I did last week, I might be going home. The choreography was spot on, perfect, right there. I love period pieces. I thought this was great. Hadley, your front foot is flexing and then hooking. And I've told you about it before. You need to fix that. Richie? I want to say nice job, ladies, first of all. And thank you for the poster behind you. I love that addition. Oh, my god. Hadley, first of all, fantastic job. I love, most importantly, the fact that you got into your character, which is something that I feel like you've, you've kind of struggled on before. So this time I was like, yes, she's in it. Great job for doing that. I um, just say, I want to say just overall, uh, the performance was so much fun. Amanda, I love the way you execute all your little, just like, you know, your feet. We are just beyond words, you know, perfection as far as a dancer. And I love that about you. You know, Amanda's better than you. She's just a better dancer. I mean, you're a very, very good quality dancer. But you have to know that Amanda, if you're on a racetrack, she's beating you. OK, great. Great job, Hadley. Yes. Great job, though. Oh. Fix a little technique, yeah. but great job. So Robin says to Hadley, you're losing, and Amanda's beating you. Kick her while she's down, really? That was awful. You know how I, I, I've been stressing about this whole thing with your duet with Asia? Mm -hmm. You know why, right? Asia's is really, really, really cute. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm talking to you. Can you just look at me? Yeah. Okay. Lexine is ready. Asia is the one who's not ready. Lexine has to adjust for Asia. That's what's my frustration. This is an important day, okay? Just focus. Do what you love to do. Be yourself. Be strong. Remember, dance your heart out, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Smile. This is like the girls want to have fun. Smile. I have to run the number over and over. And I'm running it 
looking at Lexi and not doing it the way she was doing it during the rehearsal. You're not gonna dance no, if you cry. Yeah. Okay, so don't cry. I think my mom is putting a bit more pressure on me than the past. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do like Maria. I just didn't like the parenting. I think that Lexi knows exactly what she needs to do. Lexi, do you want to walk out right now? We can pack and go home. No. OK, so show it to me. I know Maria came into this day really just stressed out. OK, that's it. We're packing. I'm sorry. You know, no. No. OK, so stop it. I, you know I'm going to go home. It was a whirlwind, like we're having this tornado right before we go on stage and not knowing how to stop it. You know we don't need to do this. Yes. If I don't see that, perfect. We're going to just go home. Great, that's right. Oh, dear Lord, this is the night. This will be the great night for everybody to remember them. They're the youngest in these competitions, but they're going to stay on top. Maria is freaking out, so I'm just crossing my fingers to make it through this routine at this point. Yeesh! Right now, we're cruising back to the 80s. Please welcome Asia and Lexine. I can't look at the lazy releve. I can't look at the bad turned in feet. Now you're even rolling on your arches. You sit back in your heel. But up here, you cannot take it away from her. If we put her behind iron bars, she would still get a look somewhere. She would be able to weasel in between those bars and get to her audience, get to her camera, get to her judges. I agree with Abby 100%. Um, Next scene. When I watch you dance, it's like a breath of fresh air. What I love about you is this fireball, go get it spirit that you have. But what I want you I to also agree. realize is that when you are dancing next to someone who you who gives you face, you have to also kind of like check out your opponent. Asia, you have improved so much. You really have, and I'm so proud of you. You've given us a lot of doubts, but you just keep rising and you keep, you keep proving us wrong. Lexine, I think that you have to work hard in this competition around all these great dancers because you're a nice dancer. You're not the best dancer. It was a solo piece for me because I kept watching Asia. I mean, put you on stage with Beyonce, and I mean, I would still look at you. Ooh. <laughs> Lexine danced so well. From where I was watching it, I really saw her energy. I saw everything from her that she's really fighting this. It's like she's dancing for her life. It was, it was really good. I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. Performance now is Madison, who will take us to the psychedelic 60s with her go-go dancing expertise. I'm about to throw up as Madison's walking out on that stage, getting on that box. I think I actually get more stressed out than Madison when she does a solo. I'm very, very nervous for her.
Madison. Great job. Here you go, Madison. I thought she was outstanding. I think the Thank turn's you. in second. On the prop, in the dark. Let's give her a hand for that. That took guts. For me, you do dip in and out. Sometimes I'm like, I see you roaring like a tiger. <laughs> but then sometimes I'm like, where is she? I'm like, I'm in for you. Until you go to the technique and your face dips out of the movie. Even if you were snarling or, I don't know, give me something, because it was like, the movie was like amazing until we got there. So that's why I couldn't give you my, ah, because as soon as you went, coop, you said, Madison, you know, this is a million percent what I love. I really think that she swings a ponytail like no one else in this world. You did it with ease, and that stuff is hard to do. But what Richie said, I agree with a million percent. If you don't completely nail that in this competition, you may not stay. You can no longer play it safe. You need to dance like you are never gonna dance again, because that's what's gonna stop you from winning. I was a little scared dancing on the box, but I knew that I could do it. I'm gonna take every correction and I'm gonna make facial expressions so I don't get sent home. Right now, we're cruising back to the 90s as Jordan performs a piece in the hip hop style of the day. Jordan has to nail this hip hop number. It's an amazing routine, and I know that she'll blow the audience away, but will she blow the judges away? Oh, yeah. Since this is Richie's forte, I'm going to turn the first position over to him. Yes! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Wait a minute. Yes, little bit. Oh, oh my I God. thought it was just a one finger wave. No, is she it gets two? a deuce. Oh. I'm going to give her two. OK, first of all, I loved your energy. You were at full throttle. It was like a 1,000%. And let's give the technique kids a couple of little vocabulary words that we learned today while watching Jordan go in. You gave me the MC Hammer. You gave me the Running Man. You gave me a kick up. You gave me a schoolboy, old way and new way. You gave me the James Brown split. Fantastic. I'm ashamed. I would fail that vocabulary test. Oh my. I loved it. It was good. But when you don't turn your feet out in big red high tops, it's really noticeable. Your comments are a little crazy this round because turned out feet in hip hop is crazy. No, no, no. It was just on, it was just specific movements as she entered into the tumbling. I get it. Okay. As she entered into the tumbling, it was very sloppy. Right. Jordan, can I say a little, can I say a that last pose you gave? Yes, kids, give up one, give up a piece of her Jordan. I think I'm making my mom really proud right now. If my mom thinks I can make it, I think it too. Judges, you've seen all five dances. It's now time to decide who you'll be sending home tonight. freaked out about the elimination round, whether I'm going home or it's just the process of, of long waiting and nobody wants to go home. Okay, stay in. Uh. I was disappointed in her because she was next to Amanda. I don't need her. <laughs> Madison, you don't need her? Mm -mm. This was not her best night tonight, I'm sorry. I mean, as much as I love Asia, 
She is the only one right now in the competition that can do that. They can do it. Hey, she's got to work on her technique, but she's got more positives than negatives. Okay, yeah. So we're okay with these four. I, I'm sorry. I think her time has come. Let's go. Judges, have you come to a decision? Yes. yes. Bring them out. Let's do this. Let's bring the dancers and their moms back out to the stage, please. Round of applause. There's a lot of pressure. I mean, there's only seven left, and we don't know who's going home because now everybody's really amazing. So it, it's, it's really nerve-wracking. When your name is called, please step forward. Madison. Jordan, can you please step forward? Madison. Jordan, you will be competing again next week in the competition. Holy crap. She did this. It was, it's so overwhelming and made every ounce of frustration that her and I had been through together, it made it all worthwhile. All right, now let's get serious because somebody has to go home. Unfortunately, those are the rules, my rules. The worst part about elimination is standing on stage for so long. You might think that you're safe, but you never know. Lexine, will you please step forward? Hadley and Mom, can you please step forward? Lexine, Hadley, you've earned yourself a spot in the hot seat. One of you will be going home this evening. Congratulations to the three other dancers on stage. You are moving forward in the competition. In a perfect world, Maria, Lexine, and Hadley could stay and Yvette goes home, but that'd be in my fantasy land. Lexine, you have been consistently a technical dancer. However, I keep preaching the same things to both you and Hadley. The feet, the knees, the legs. We need to see it improving. Tonight, you drop the ball. I do not want to announce this. <sighs> Lexine. Today is not your day. Maxine, this is just the beginning. I'm thinking we've got another chance. Great. What doesn't kill her makes her stronger. It's all right. This experience was a revelation of feelings for each other. Lexine will, will do great with, with whatever she does, and I will always be there for her. It's time for us to go home, honey. Oh, don't, don't, don't cry. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry. The biggest lesson that I learned is to push harder, and when I go back home, I'm going to keep training. I mean, keep training as hard as I can. This week is crucial for Asia. There's only six dancers left, so it is so important for her to prove herself and show a perfect performance. And we're gonna practice hard to do that. I feel like we've been set up being ranked last two full weeks in a row. I feel like we're on the chopping block. What's up, girls? Hello. Abby walks in for the challenge. She has a princess crown on and a wand. You like my crown? All I keep thinking is, I think she's a witch. Little fairy princess. More like the fairy godmother. Here, can you guys guess what the theme might be this week? Yes. What are you thinking? Fairy tales. Fairy tales. All right, guys, let's get to this week's group challenge dance. You all know the choreographer. It's Anthony Burrell. Woo! So this week's uh, challenge is individuality. I'll give you a combination with uh, legs, turns, and jumps. And within that combination, you'll put your own little spin on top of it, cool? These kids may attend an audition where there's 800 dancers on the floor. What draws my eyes to you? What's your individuality? This is gonna be a tough one. When you're in an audition, 
Everybody's given the same steps. It's what you do with them to make them different. The winner of this challenge will not only be the lead in the group dance, but will also be doing a duet. All right, little princesses, your fairy tale begins right now. We'll see you in 45. Magic dust. Our theme is fairy tales, and this week it's going to be a happy ending for me. Hey, dancers. Good to see you guys again. This piece is very beautiful. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. I keep saying, come on, Hadley, focus on your ballet many, many hours every week and just do the best job that you can do in this challenge. The day when I see Yvette's back turn and walk out those doors because Adley got sent home, it'll be my happy day. Go again. It's up. Show me your individuality. Let me see. My biggest struggle this week is just letting go and just show everybody that I can do something with my face. <laughs> and then I won't be critiqued on the same thing over and over again. We want to see that shine in each person this week. At this point in the competition, I am 100% confident in Madison's individuality. I think she is going to shine during this challenge. All right, guys. Anthony, I got to cut it off right here. It's all the time you get. Your wicked stepmother is here to judge you. All right. Am I going to see what's different, what's unique, what's special about each and every one of you? Let's begin and see who fits into the shoe. Music. Godmother is impressed. All right, Asia and Jordan, both of you had beautiful face. However, bippity bumpity, bye bye to you. Be gone. I was happy to see that Abby told Asia to go to the sidelines. Finally, they're seeing that, yes, you need a little bit more than just a face. You need technique. Jordan, today, you have definitely improved. You started that turn on a turned out foot. I thought it was beautiful. However, when you knelt on the floor, your ankles were still lifted up. You need to fix that. So, poof, be gone, Jordan. But much, much, much better. Jordan does get cut, but much Abby does say how much she's improved. Okay. So that was huge in that respect. At that point, I didn't care that she got cut because I'm so proud of her. All right. Let me see Madison and Amanda. Individuality. Watching Madison and Amanda dance together in the dance challenge, their styles are a lot alike, but different. I think Madison brings more intensity to her dance. The skill is individuality. Yes, Amanda is the best technician here, but she's got nothing, nothing right here. Tough one. I know. Let me have Hadley and Amanda. Ready, girls? Hadley's struggling. She is stressed out. She's not used to being on the bottom, but this is Hadley's comeback week. That's what I have to just keep telling her and I have to keep telling myself. And stop. That was a lovely, super califragilistic expiala. Adios, kiddo. But do you know why you're leaving? You did the same exact thing wrong. You did down, down to your knees, and your toes are crunched underneath you. Think about the details. Abby has been harsh on Hadley. I don't know if she was doing this toward taking stabs toward a vet or if she was really trying to be harsh with Hadley. In my opinion, I think it was towards a vet. So let's have you three come on back out and dance for your life. Remember the skill. It's about individuality. What do you have that they don't? 
Show me that. Whether it's flexibility, strength, something. And play music. Madison's up against Brianna and Amanda, and those are probably her two strongest competitors. So it will be interesting. And stop. All right. Brianna, I think you're strong. I think you're great. But you looked at the ground the whole time you were performing. So poof, be gone. Madison and I are the last ones standing in the challenge. And I was really nervous. At the same time, didn't know what was going to happen. Ooh, this is one tough decision for the fairy godmother. Decisions, decisions. Amanda, the shoe does not fit. However, you were beautiful. Thank you. I'm happy for Madison. You know, I'm glad that she won. But if I look at little technical details and I give that credit that should have been given, Amanda should have won. Congratulations, Madison. You have won the challenge. And with your victory, you are the lead in the group performance. But I'm also going to give you a duet with Amanda. Your fairy tale theme will be Snow White and the Evil Stepmother. May you all dance happily ever after. Right. OK. I won the challenge this week, and I'm really excited because it's the first challenge I've won. And my prize is that I get to be the lead of the group dance. See you guys in a couple of days. Great dancing. Great dancing. What is that? Oh, that's pretty. The group dance is going to be cool. I can't wait to see what the group dance is. I know. Look at me. You did really well. You just have to step up your game. But you focused today. I saw you focused and you learned, right? It's just at your age. You have years to learn on your feet. Yeah? The pressure is really hard for Asia being six. And we knew that if Asia doesn't snap out of it and have those turnouts and point her feet, she may be going home. Proud of you. Yeah. Good job. So once again, we have the group dance. There's no cookie cutter dancing going on. There's going to be no room for mistake, no room for any kind of error. This is a fairy tale. I'm the baby fairy, and I'm the one that's supposed to distract. Madison, she's a little girl walking in the forest. It's really cool to be the main part. I'm going to be featured a lot, and the judge is going to really see how good I am. So I think that'll help me in this competition. Ooh, just come up, yeah. Jordan, up to the ceiling. This up here. The top of that lamp up there. More, chest up to the sky, like a bird. I'm pulling you here. Yes, go higher, higher, higher. Anthony's telling her to correct things. She does it once, and then she falls back into not fixing what he's asked her to do. If somebody has to keep telling you over and over to stretch your body, do you really want to keep hearing that? No, 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 I'm talking, no, I'm talking. She was getting a little, I know mom, you know, that attitude with me, and unacceptable. She needs to stand there and hear what I have to say. He's told you how many times on this part, lift yourself up. Again, you did it one time. I heard you. You be quiet. I am. Remember, this is where you don't talk, because I'm talking. These simple things that she keeps doing incorrectly over and over are things that could get her eliminated. Well, I don't give a crap if this is just rehearsal. I know, I, I'm with you. Like, I seriously wanted to just go out there and grab her ankles and go, put them flat, point the damn foot, or guess what, pack your bags, because it's over, it's done. This week, our theme is fairy tales. The dancers have been split up for their solos, except for Madison and Amanda. They impressed me during the group challenge, so I want to see them side by side in a duet. Yeah. Show me every flaw. Madison Snow White, Amanda is the evil stepmother, and you know they can't keep it. They can't keep it together. They're like cracking up because they're friends. They like each other, so it, it's going to be a good challenge for her. I don't see the emotion enough in your face. It's even more like ah. I'm not really like evil and all this stuff. I'm usually really nice and humble and modest. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Step out of the frame. Do it. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good. 
This week is going to be challenging for Asia. It's very important that Asia nails this solo. And yeah, we're going to work on those feet that Abby keeps getting crazy about. So, Fairy Tales Week, you are the Wicked Witch of the West. Have you ever seen The Wizard of Oz? Uh, yeah, just a couple times. Do you remember that famous scene where, where she gets a pitcher of water thrown on her and she's like, I'm melting, I'm melting. Well, that's going to be your take on it. Cool. I have brought to you, basically, your dress. Um, I'm kind of really worried about the dress because you're, you're kind of really tiny. So we're gonna have to create the beginning and the end around you working with the dress. From the beginning. So Asia is dancing in a trash bag. It's totally taking over her. It's as large as the stage. And the routine Ricky has planned for Asia is very challenging. Out, out. Asia doesn't seem concerned about it. But as a mother, I'm worried about the movement and the restriction and her being able to maneuver through this trash bag, which is actually sticking to her. I'm a little concerned about how we're going to work this. Six, seven, and go. Maylin and I decided to go see Asia's uh, rehearsal. We wanted to see, you know, what this week was going to be like for Asia. Asia, you need to lengthen your legs because you have short little legs. You need to lengthen that leg. Corinne and I are just looking at each other going, thank God this is not for our girls. I could not just imagine the girls trying to go around such a huge problem. All the other dance moms, they all have solos, so they're very quiet this week. The vet is extremely quiet. I feel her withdrawn, and it kind of worries me. There you go. That's your line. All, the, all this is twerking your knee. Six, seven, eight. Wow, 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 wow. I'm so excited. It's Hadley's week. She is Tinkerbell, and she is with Anthony. I could not be any happier. Six, seven, eight. Wow, 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 wow. We gotta go right away. Okay. Being at the bottom the last two weeks puts more pressure on me to do better in this competition because I need to show the judges that I can work my way back up to the top. Wow, nah, -uh. stop looking at it. I can see it. Go, boom, fill your line. Right on top of the hip. So don't, don't, don't bring it back down. So once you go up, you bring it down, you go right to your PK, but keep that back up. Uh uh, boom, boom. You gotta focus, come on, come on. If you, if you can't focus, then there's no point, and you're not retaining it. I have so much pressure because I have to do great in this routine, and if you make a couple of mistakes at this point in the competition, they might send you home, and I mean, I want to win this so badly, so I have to do my routine perfectly. I'm just feeling a lot of pressure in my rehearsal today. I mean, I've had a pretty rough two weeks. What's wrong? Uh, Look at me. Just breathe. Just relax. Just relax. Uh, just a lot of pressure. She was called roadkill. She is stressed out because she's ranked last the last two weeks. Abby completely crossed the line. What words she said to Hadley were absolutely cruel. Abby, I'm reading your facial expression, and you don't seem that happy. Should I say roadkill? I mean, her tongue was a knife, and it definitely cut us down. You have to use this, you know? <laughs> Put those emotions into, this da into that dancing. So I don't want to see these tears. They don't mean That's anything right. to me, you know? Is you a better dancer than that? Anthony always pushes us, and I think I'm just putting so much pressure on myself. I need to do this so look so great. Don't let people break us. It just builds us, and it builds us stronger than ever. They're going to see a different happy this week. You're gonna go fair, yeah. For this week's competition dance, Jordan is gonna be doing a contemporary solo under the Cinderella theme. So I'm really excited about that. Fair, we. There we go. Tails, step, and make. Go ahead. 
As I'm watching this routine unfold, I am super proud of Jordan. There was no fighting today between the two of us. She corrected things that I asked her to correct. And unfortunately, it took me blowing a gasket yesterday to maybe get that out of her. People think of Jordan, they think of like the hip hop girl. They don't think about the contemporary girl. So I just have to show them I can do it all. love this dance. It is all Brianna. It is hard hitting. It has technique and it's fierce. And so I hope that the judges are able to appreciate it because it's about individuality this week. There's a lot of problems with this cape right now. Ha. Shoot. Can't get the cape off. The hood's not fit right. The sleeves are falling off of my arm. La, la, la. <laughs> what happened? Uh-oh. What happened? At the end of rehearsal on stage, Brianna lands on her knee. I wonder if you just had, like, a tracking thing that happened, you know? Oh. I've been dealing with, like, this knee pain for, like, two months. And now I think hitting it was just, like, the last straw for me. But I hope it gets better before I go on stage to compete tomorrow. There is extra pressure on Amanda this week. Amanda has to show who she's trying to be. She's trying to be the evil queen. It's going to be a struggle for her. Whoa. Go time. Oh, oh yes. Wow. No one is safe in this competition right now, no one. But I know in my heart that Brianna's going to go out and kill it and give 100%. Most important thing, I want you to go out there and be your beautiful self. I want you to remember everything. Remember every detail of everything that we've been working on. Don't give her any reason to send you home. Your trash bag doesn't come unbuttoned. That's a lot. You just improv, rip it, OK? Just tear it off. Play Tinkerbell. How fun. You love Tinkerbell. Right. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I'm completely surprised about Hadley's anxiousness before this competition. I mean, she's been competing since she was three. She has the biggest fear on her face. I've never seen this before. Show them what you can do. I've never seen you like this. Welcome to the stage portion of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Now, by the end of the night, one girl will be going home. Who's it going to be? That's up to these three lovely people right here. Our judges on the end over there, that's Robin Anton. She is the creator and choreographer of the world famous Pussycat Dolls. Next to Robin, we have Richie Jackson. Make some noise. He is Lady Gaga's visual director and choreographer. And let's hear it for the woman on the end over here, the one that brought us all together, choreographer and star maker. That's Abby Lee Miller. Our six dancers have spent the past few days perfecting their competition dances. But before we get to those, they also worked on a group number inspired by this week's fairy tale theme. Here are our six remaining dancers. Give them a round of applause.
applause, too. All right, we got a lot of great performances still to come. That was just the beginning. The judges consider Jordan the hip-hop dancer. This is an opportunity for Jordan to show the judges that she is a well-rounded dancer and not just a one-trick pony. Getting us started with one of the all-time great fairy tale characters. Here's Jordan as Cinderella. Fairy tales and make believe you can kiss a frog. You can even love. still need to keep working on are your knees. You never straighten your knees. I'm gonna turn it over to Richie. I will agree with Abby. There are certain things you can still work on and fix, but at the end of the day, you and how you perform and how you dance is what it's about. That is where everyone should be at. Fantastic job. Wow. Yeah, he loves her. I believe that you really were feeling it, but I think that sometimes your facial expressions are almost too much to the point where we're, like, I know. See, that was a lot of pain over there. I know, she, but. Three emotions, we need to see three emotions. We no, saw I, three emotions. Yeah, no, no, I know that. I'm talking about what everyone else might see, but I still enjoyed it tremendously. Give it up for Jordan. Abby said that Jordan showed her, you know, another side. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I think Jordan did amazing. It was her best performance because it showed a little bit more about who she is and what she's all about. Because she is known for you know, being a hip hop dancer and she got an outstanding from Abby. And that just blew my mind. You were amazing. Great job, Jordan. Thank you. Good job, Jordan. I think I'm gonna keep my spot. That's great, I'm happy for Jordan. But you know what? This is Hadley's comeback week, so. We're gonna use this as fuel. Our second performance of the night is a jazz piece about Tinkerbell. Here's Hadley. Pixie dust worked. It was sweet, it was fun. I like the little shimmy of the shoulders and the wings moving all the time. I think you always have to work on your feet, but I watched you. You knelt right here in front of me and those insteps stayed on the ground. Richie? You looked beautiful. I felt like you were still Tinkerbell. You didn't drop out of the movie all of a sudden. And there are a few things you could work on, but I have to say that at the end of the day, you gave me more of a performance than I actually expected from you. Mm -hmm. So great job. I thought it was a really beautiful, clean performance. I liked it a lot. Did I absolutely love it? I'm not sure. Nice job, Hadley. Thank you, judges. You can head down to the green room with your mom. Okay. It, it wasn't her best performance, but, but it's okay. At least she wasn't slaughtered. So I'm hoping we're not going home, but you never know.
transition. You gotta pick up your feet and travel, okay? You need to travel. This right here, you have to turn, remember? Don't worry about it, okay? My biggest fear about the trash bag dress is that she's gonna trip as soon as she winds out of it, and that her first step is gonna be to the floor. Let's hear it for Asia. Go, Asia, go. I love you. Why are you stepping on it? No, I didn't. Stop reacting that. Asia's performance in the beginning of her dance was amazing. She shows so much presence. But then you get the rest of it, and the technique is just not 100% there. Let's see what the judges have to say. Abby. I think the top half of her is in the top half of the competition, and the bottom half of her is in the bottom half of the competition. That's how I see it. You hit a great straddle leap. How many feet should you land on in a leap? One. Right. When you do your glee sod or your run run, should it be parallel, turned out, or turned in? Turned out. I think so too. All right, take it away, Richie. I thought you were fantastic. Thank I you. could not take my eyes off you. Ooh, that walk back. Oh. I'm like, who are you? You dance like a diva, and obviously you know what that means, which is really weird, but you do. She may not have learned it from her mom. Maybe she did learn it from me and the Pussycat Dolls. But you are a great performer. You're an artist. Judges, thank you. Let's give it up for Asia. <laughs> Next up is a jazz funk solo featuring Brianna as both Red Riding Hood and her arch nemesis, The Wolf. Here she is. Amazing. Dealing with an injury and performing in front of all three of these judges is really hard, but I'm not gonna play it safe. And I'm gonna give the judges and the audience everything that I've got and put my heart and soul into it. First of all, I love this routine for you. I thought you got to show some individuality in that you were sweet and you were innocent and you were a little mischievous. I enjoyed it. Richie? What I do think that you should work on is some of your isolations. You know, there was a part here where you're on the floor. It could just be tighter. Just work on the, it's just the little itty bitty things such as that. The part that Richie said he didn't like was probably one of my favorite parts. Oh, I thought Robin. it was. You took it and you owned it and you danced it like you were ageless. And I'm gonna give you a big, oh! Oh, wow! Yes. Thank you. 
I feel like I did a great job in my performance tonight. It is really important to improve on your technique here and take all the corrections that Abby and the judges have given you and apply them to yourself as quickly as possible because that is the difference between staying here and going home. Remember, when you hold it and you're in, in that position, hold it a little bit up and arm strong and sharp. Yeah. Amanda playing the evil queen is a totally opposite character from who Amanda is. And the judges want facial expressions, but the judges also want from Amanda is character. And I know that she is capable of doing that with this dance. Our last performance of the night is our lone duet, playing Snow White and the Evil Queen in a contemporary ballet. Please welcome Madison and Amanda. Amanda, I thought that the characterization was wonderful. When you stood on that stage, center stage, and put that mirror frame around you, and you just were like vicious, it was great. I think she has that look, and she carried it off beautifully. That was nice to see a duet with two advanced, beautiful dancers. When I watch this ballet piece, I lose you as individuals in this piece. You going for it, you giving me different facial expressions. Like even Amanda, like for me, your face pretty much stayed the same. You might have tweaked it like maybe one moment, but it pretty much stayed the same. That's not true. That's not true. I did love this piece, but if we wanted to get in there and go, we could get 100% more out of you, we know we could. Do you want to be in the top five? Safe is over. How many times do I have to say it? I feel like I'm talking to my own kids. You need to dance like you're never gonna dance again, and you might not ever dance again on this stage. All right, thank you, judges. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I was a little annoyed by Richie's feedback. I do think that he missed the point. I do think that he didn't see their beautiful lines. He looked awesome. Okay. Richie doesn't understand ballet like maybe Abby does. I don't know what he was looking at. You gave the evil Way better than rehearsal. And you gave Snow White. I mean, if they want you to be Madison as Snow White, I don't know what that is. I loved her tonight. And I'm not a fan of this kid. I know you're not I a fan. Her but she was great tonight. tonight. She She's still a little dead faced. She, yes, yes, but she's a sweet, she's innocent. I don't know what they're gonna do. I just, I can't even think about it. These are the exact opposite in every you're way. Right. In every way. <laughs> so I think that she also has a lot of limitations. She just does. Oh my God. Um, do you sometimes like, feel like you can't breathe? Like, I can't. I feel like, of all the kids, she should be applying the corrections first. I think we're down to this, and I feel really bad because. This kid took it like a champ. I just think her confidence is down there. She's just not applying when she gets on stage. You know what? The thing about her, never going to be the best. Have we made our decision? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Then we're ready. Going into elimination, I'm worried. Everyone was really good tonight. Asia has already been on the bottom two, and I know about her feet. I'm scared that Asia may be going home. This competition is not all about the face and the performance and the freedom and the feeling. It's a dance competition, and I am looking for beautiful lines, for great feet, for technique. Asia, Hadley, Please step forward. Asia, 
Hadley, one of you are going home tonight. Congratulations to everyone else. You are moving forward in the competition. Nice job, guys. I'm so excited I'm in the top five. We cannot afford to mess up anymore. Abby is looking for the best dancer. One thing I know, if I listen to my mom again, I can make it. Asia, I thought you gave a spectacular performance of The Wicked Witch tonight. Hadley, I thought you were sprite, I thought you were fun, and I thought you nailed the portrayal of Tinkerbell. However, both of you had flaws. Asia, I think that you are a stellar performer. Thank you. You step out on stage and it works. You don't do that in rehearsal. Hadley, I think you're the opposite. I think you're an excellent student in class and then you get on stage and you choke. With that being said, Hadley, Today is not your day. You took it like a champ. And when I gave you those tough critiques, you stood there with a smile on your face and you learned something. And I thought for sure that you were gonna come back strong and maybe win this competition. But today, that grand jeté, hooking the foot, it just wasn't enough. Tinkerbell, thank you. Now it's time to fly away home. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Asia, congratulations. You are moving forward in the competition. Welcome to the top five. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm very, 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 very extremely excited to be in the top five. I'm really sad that Yvette's going. Well, I think the reason why Asia is getting by is because of her personality. She's huge on stage, but that can only take you so far. Now the real Wicked Witch is going home, and now I can live happily ever after. I definitely grew as a dancer from being here. I mean, it was an amazing opportunity, and I'm going to take all of the corrections and put them into my dance career. You know, it would have been incredible for Hadley to win this. I mean, obviously, we we all say it would, it would change their life. But really, I think it's changed their life already anyway. believe it? It felt so good to walk in here knowing that we're in the top five. With that is going to come a huge amount of responsibility. I don't think anybody here wants fifth. I think we're all going for the scholarship and the money. We want to stay, and we're not going down without a fight. I am really upset that Hadley got eliminated. I didn't think it was her time. I think Asia should have been eliminated. She struggles in the group dances. She's not there technically. Well, I think the reason why Asia is getting by is because of her personality. She's huge on stage, but that can only take you so far. Close your eyes. After elimination, Asia tells me she overheard Madison saying, why is Asia here? I wish Hadley was here. And it really hurt Asia's feelings. Madison probably said it, and she probably didn't think you heard it. I am very sad that Madison wants me gone. All right. You're okay. 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 It's okay. You know, the girls get it from their moms. It starts from the moms and it trickles down. Just be strong, okay? You're here for a reason. Not everyone's gonna always be friendly, okay? It's a competition. It's hard, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's killing the other moms that Asia's still in this competition and that we are not affected by the chatter and the raised eyebrows. So we're here to stay. Be strong, okay? How is it? See, it's bruised. Just be careful today. The other day, Madison hurt her Achilles. 
And it worries me because we're down to the wire right now, and we're just hoping that it's not gonna get worse. Just stretch it slowly, not a lot. It's a big deal. I mean, a dancer's ankles hurt, and they don't heal it right, you could be going home. Hello, ladies. Hi, guys. Five dancers left. If you're not feeling the pressure, something's wrong. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Now, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. For today's challenge, the skill is flexibility. And if you know anything about me, you know that my dancers are flexible. But we can take that word and we can use it for many different things. Do you have an open mind? Do you welcome new things, new languages, new foods, new choreography? We want to see what you bring to the table. And the best way for me to do that is to have each one of you perform a solo at this week's stage show. Flexibility is going to play into this week's theme. You'll all be doing things that you've probably never done before because you are all taking a trip around the world. You will be doing ethnic-inspired routines. The winner of today's challenge will get their choice of either African, Asian, Latin, French, or Indian dance. You guys ready for your group challenge dance? Bring out the choreographer, you know her, Gina Starbuck. Come over here, Gina. <laughs> Gina will be with you as you begin your journey around the globe, and your first stop is Japan. Gina will teach you a Harajuku-inspired routine. Arigato. Adios. So yes, Harajuku is really a style. It's all about just being really expressive, and there's elements of punk rock, there's elements of anime. So I want you guys to really think about that when we're learning this challenge. Okay, let's go from one, five, six, seven, pulling one, two and a half, ha, shanae, jump. Brianna is very flexible. She can hit a back bend and hold it, and you see her abs just go Pull, go one, two. I don't have the most flexible back, and I'm pretty confident with the mind flexibility and just leg flexibility. Here we go, five, six, Amanda, relax. Go one, two, I had a note for you. From the ha, stay low. It will help you get around and feel more grounded and it looks better anyway. Amanda needs to stop playing it safe and she needs to go for it. She needs to give it all she's got. I know she has it, she just needs to do it. If not, we could be going home. Here we go, say it out loud from one. Asia's falling behind in the choreography, and it just drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. How you doing on that timing? The teacher is always having to stop and show Asia. The dancers get a little frustrated at times during the group challenges that she doesn't pick up choreography fast. Listen to me. Your foot has to point before you come up. You're being sloppy with every move. How bad does it hurt? An injury with someone that's 12, 13 years old, you don't play with that. Like maybe she just watches the rest of the stance. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to, Maddie. You have no choice. The other moms are telling me to take a break because of my Achilles, but I do not want to take a break. I just want to dance, and I think they're just telling me that because I am competition to them. Do you feel any sharp pains or? Yeah. yeah. It has been a little annoying that everyone is so concerned with Madison's ankle. I wonder if they're really concerned or if they're kind of happy that her ankle's hurt. You never know. Madison is having a lot of trouble with her ankle, so that I knew was going to be an advantage for us. Hello, girls. We're back. Fasten your seatbelt. Let's go. In its final position, you, I want you to sit right here and watch, because you are a beat behind. You cannot come into an audition 
and watch the girl next to you and do it after she does it. I was happy to see that Abby told Aisha to go to the sidelines because you need technique and you need to be able to do the full choreography instead of looking around. Madison, Jordan, you're out of the running for the challenge today. Come on over here with Asia. Nice job. I definitely feel that Madison is a stronger dancer than Amanda, but it's all up to Abby. All right, let's take the number one more time with these two. Brianna is her biggest competition. That's not a problem. Great, stand up, ladies. Amanda, I think throughout the entire day, you have been excellent. I think you have a lot more flexibility in your back that you're not using. You better work on the left side. However, you have flexibility in your legs as well as your back. I saw it in the chenet jete, and I certainly saw it in the back bend. Ladies, the group dance challenge winner is Brianna. Great work, great flexibility in your legs as well as your back. Brianna, you get to choose your style, your geographical influence. Of either Asian, French, Latin, Indian, or African dance. You can talk it over with your mom and make a decision here. I like African just because, or Bollywood, something different. Think of your strengths, your flexibility. Where will it be best utilized? The decision is... Think of your strengths, your flexibility. Where will it be best utilized? What is your decision? The decision is African. Oh. Remember, everyone earned a spot here. But now, we're down to the top five. We need to see the full range of your capabilities. So we're on day three of this. Injury, right? It's feeling a lot better. Okay. The medic came to Madison today, and, and it worries me because I didn't leave my family this long to go home empty-handed. You ignore that pain, and it continues, and then you, you actually you know, tear the um, tendon there, then it's game over. My honest opinion, it'd be best to take a break. Mm -mm. She's learning her solo, so it's really not an option to totally sit out on her solo. If we can't do that, then you got to be honest when it starts to hurt. Five, six, straighten up. Six, seven, eight, one. I'm doing a French Moulin Rouge solo. I think I'm going to do really good on stage. Don't stop. Travel, travel. This week, I think, is a harder week than most. She knows and feels now that the older girls don't want her hair. Use that little brain, OK? Think. Now, because of what Madison said, I think I want to beat her up in this competition. I was in the bottom last week, so I have to prove to the judges that I can do my technique. We're going to do it again. Let's try not to stop. Wait. I don't want to see the plot. Do that again, please. Amanda this week has a Latin solo, and I am excited. Step, walk, step, step, walk, walk. Amanda and I, we're Latin. She's a Latin ballroom champion. That is in our blood, and we're going to dance it. Side, side, pop, pop. Not there yet, Amanda. Bring it up. You got to bring it up. It's nowhere near where I want it to be. Stop, 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 stop. This is it. What are you waiting for? Because you're not giving it up yet. I just need to remind Amanda that when she's on that stage and she's representing the Latin community, she needs to represent. You have to show him what you have because he's working around what you have. You have the, the movements, but you're not bringing the flair that it needs.
Madison's dance assignment this week is India. It's gonna be a Bollywood dance. For a solo, would she ever think of doing an Indian Bollywood dance? No. Can you compare it to Amanda doing a Latin style dance? No. I'm sorry. It's just, it's not fair. How's your Achilles? It's fine. You sure? I am a little concerned with Madison and her ankle just because it's so fast and it's strenuous. It's very important not to show any weakness, so I'm hoping that she'll be able to push through. Not bad. Jordan is gonna be doing a solo from Asia. I feel a little bit more pressure this week because Abby said one circled foot, one wobble, and a turn can, like, throw you out of the competition. I have to have a perfect performance. <laughs> Jordan's toughest competition, I mean, if they're looking for pointed feet, Amanda. If they're looking for great facials, Asia. Back down again with the second one. Straight legs on that. Madison is just, I don't know, she just doesn't have a spark to me. She's just there. It's just gonna depend on what, you know, what the judges are really looking for in, in the end. And straight legs on the butterfly. I want you to go for the things that you're afraid of. This is how many times she's told you to straighten your legs on the butterfly. Just focus. Fix the things that she's asking you to, because you don't want me to step in. The African style solo, I'm a little nervous. Brianna is out of her comfort zone, and this is, I feel, it's really going to challenge her. I'm sure you've heard about slavery and the, the challenges of what Africans went through. So I feel their pain. You know, just, just put yourself in their shoes and, you know, try to understand and feel their story. The dance is important. It's about a powerful message. And I hope she can just get that message across. Six, seven, eight, get up, two, three, four, bend down, two, three, four. It's not about your technique, how pretty your arm look, you know? It's all about the feeling that's gonna transcend. And if I was to go and kick back as far as possible, yes. Sometimes it's like, you, you gotta forget about the technique and just dance. And you go from your passion, you go from your gut. It's really important we go over it tonight because I want you to capture what Anthony was talking about. Like our history, our background, they were massacred. It was the Armenian massacre. We have a history. You know, my grandmother was thrown in a ditch and she watched all her brothers and sisters get murdered right before her eyes. So we can relate to this. I just want you to nail it for them. I really do. To make it even more meaningful to me, it does deal with our heritage too. I can just imagine the pain that they went through. I hope that's what I'm bringing to the dance. You really need to practice. <laughs> yeah, I do. Cheers. Cheers. Just we decided we're going to have a cocktail and just skip school, ditch rehearsal. We're out of there. We needed to change the scenery. I'm dealing with um, Asia crying. Why? Mm. Why? She heard Madison in the dressing room say, why is Hadley gone? It should be Asia. I don't think that my daughter would say something like that, but you never know. Well, Madison's looking at it as a dance perspective. Children learn from what they've heard. The actions of the girls now, I think, are the actions of the parents. A lot of the parents are expressing their concern, you know, as to why Asia's still in this competition. She's still in this competition because she's a damn good dancer. They all think that Asia no, should have went home. I did not don't. say. Shh. No, because don't you shoot me. Are talking. No, you're trying to throw us under the bus. Not gonna what did I say daughter. about Asia? Do I think it she should have gone harder than Christy? Probably, because it's technical. I'll say to her face. I have no problem with that. So what, you're saying technically she's not good? Are you Yeah, apparently I'm They are using her as a scapegoat because I think they're running out of things to complain about. She is the You know what? Her child can straighten her legs and point her feet. You know what? But have they care? No. If she didn't, did she? So I just stay quiet, and I think the other moms are wrong. Asia's here for a reason. I don't feel threatened at all. We just want to prove all the haters wrong and laugh in their face when she's standing here the next day after elimination.
So we're coming in, day of competition, and we have to, as moms, do their hair and makeup. I'm feeling the pressure. I'm worried about the solo. And having not seen everybody else's routines, I just don't know. What I do know is that somebody's going home, and I hope it's not us. Yesterday, at the hotel, I saw her true colors. You're a biatch. And I want to have nothing to do with you. Welcome to Abby's ultimate dance competition. Tonight, our five remaining dancers will give it all they've got to keep themselves in the game. Now let's make some noise for the three people who can make or break our dancers. Give it up for them. That's the creator of the Pussycat Dolls, Robin Anton. That's Lady Gaga's choreographer, Mr. Richie Jackson. And you know her, you love her. It's Abby Lee Miller. Tonight, our dancers will be taking us on a trip around the world as they perform exotic dance styles from all across the globe. So what exactly are you looking for tonight, Abby? Legs up here behind the head. And then I'm always looking for something I haven't seen before. This is it. I'm praying for her to do good, but you don't know what can go wrong. You don't know if when you're putting everything together, is it going to look good? I want to see that Latina in your body, in your soul, and on that dance floor. Let's kick off our world travels with a number influenced by the ballroom dance styles of Latin America. Please welcome Amanda. I want to see if she gives more face this time around. Turn it over to Abby Lee Miller. Woo! I'm hot. <laughs> I loved it. It was entertaining. I liked your use of right and left. She did a left bot mont, then the right grand jeté and the right fan kick. She is a first class plane ticket yes. to wherever yes. we're going. Exactly. Yes. Amanda, you are a beautiful dancer. I mean, honestly, I'm always looking for a star, and I truly think you have that star quality. Thank you. All right, now, Mr. Jackson. But what I'm still missing from you is the passion in here. I've been saying this to you every week. And especially if you want to inspire others, you've got to show them, ah, ah. I think she set the bar high. Yeah. She did it. There More is no question gas. about it. You were amazing. Judges, thank you very much. Amanda, great job. You did amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think if Asia makes it to the final four, we are going to have to have security because these moms are right now not even thinking Asia could have been top five. Concentrate on your, your, your toes and remember, hold that pose. It's beautiful when you hold that pose, OK? Let's rock it. Please welcome Asia.
flexibility-wise, great. But when that right leg goes up, the hip stays down. Okay. And what about the left leg? It's getting there. This is your eighth show. Yes. I think it needs to be there. And you came down stage and did a really sloppy front walk over to a seated position with your feet turned in and your arms not up by your ears, and that was crazy. In the very ending pose, were your feet tickled? Yes. You should have fixed that. Bad feet. That's what Abby said. Yeah. You're on. <laughs> Your face was fantastic. Yes! We're in the final five. We're, we are looking for more than just a pretty face. Yes. The flexibility part I thought was fantastic. I did too. She, she had a triple turn, then she held it. I'm like, ah, how old are you? Seven. seven. She's seven. Your problem is you keep making the same old mistakes and they keep letting you slide. That's the problem. The reason that we are letting you slide is because you're amazing. That's why. So let's hear it for Raja. You can go join your mom, head down to the green room. We'll see you back out here in a bit. Good job. So Abby makes her critiques. Asia takes that to heart. And I know she's torn up inside. This might be our night that we go home. <laughs> relax. Just relax, please. Can you give me a paper tap? Madison's solo this week is fast. There's a lot of technique in it. You know, I'm a little concerned that Madison's Achilles tendon is still bothering her. You're gonna have to take a breath so that you don't miss any makeup. I mean, it hurts, but I'm just gonna push through the pain because I'm not here to be hurt, I'm here to dance. Hey, welcome back to Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Oh, yeah. Listen to me. Listen. You got this. I'm worried Madison's Achilles tendon is still bothering her a little bit. You have to give it 150%, and she needs to bring that, or I see us going home tonight. Now we're moving on to India for a Bollywood-style number featuring Madison. a weird look on her face, weirder than normal. I know, and I'm, I'm a big Madison fan, but I just think there were a few things on your grand jetés. You need to learn how to wing your back foot in the air instead of cupping it when you land and step through on your left leg. I'd like to see you higher in your relevé. You have a little bit of a lazy relevé, especially at the end when you're trying to slow down and hold on to it. Get up there. It's just your execution on the little things. When you're in the air and the hands are out, it's like, it's like is it here, are we here? Here, I, it just, there's like little itty things that, that can make you that much better. I first have to say that you just made this competition so much harder because you nailed it. Five years from now, when you come in and audition for me, I guarantee you, you'll be a pussycat doll. Wow. Remember that she said that. <sighs> Let's hear it one more time for Madison. We'll see you back out here in a little bit. Head down the green room with your mom. Good job. Oh, it hurts. You did fine. No, you're not. Can I use black? No. No. Don't get frazzled. You're amazing. My great-grandmother was a part of the Armenian massacre. You're Gorgeous. so nervous. This is the most nervous I've been. Why? I don't know. So in this performance, I have to imagine that I'm in her shoes plus the African cultured slaves' shoes, too. And hopefully it comes through. Please welcome Brianna.
there's not a lot of stuff in it. Very good, very good. And our choreographer, Anthony Burrell. Nice job, Anthony. You were the challenge winner this week, and you chose Africa. Are you happy with that choice? This dance was so brilliant, and it brought out a whole different dancer in person in me. And I was so happy that I could relate it to my heritage. So thank you. Thank you, Anthony. I think you're happy with your choice. Let's see if they're happy with your choice. Did she make the right one? Absolutely. She took my breath away from the moment she stepped on stage. I saw the flexibility in the bot monster, the right, the left, the right, with the flex foot. Excellent. You had the emotional range and the maturity to do this piece. Yes. Bravo, sweetheart. Thank you so much, Miss Abby. Brianna, you owned the character to the point where it was, it was like on another level. This piece was perfection. It really was. What I like about you, Brianna, is that you dive all the way in and then some more into, you know, into your, your character and the movement was just graceful. And I just wanted to say like, this week for me, your flexibility was more than physical, it was emotional. Yes, it was. Great job, yeah, great, great job. great job. Thank you so much. Give it up one more time for Brianna. <laughs> when she came off stage with a smile on her face, that was it for me. I mean, I was gone. I started crying, and I'm just extremely proud of her. Oh, I'm, I'm happy. Told of... I'm happy. You're happy. Technically, you're good. Okay. You got to kill. Literally. <laughs> so Jordan is getting ready to perform, and I think her mindset is, I'm not gonna let them find anything to send me home for. I'm gonna attack that left sickled foot and it's not gonna appear because it's gone. Now, with a routine influenced by the graceful style of Chinese martial arts, this is Jordan. The style, I love the choreography. I get it, but you did some things that showed a lack of flexibility. When you did the very first right leg extension with the sword to hold your leg there, you showed us that you weren't very flexible. Are you still going, Abby? You ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, go. Yes, you killed it a little bit. I mean, you have a sword. No one else in this competition has had this kind of a prop. She's twirling, she's starting, yeah. she's huh. I mean, I feel like I'm in a movie. Good job. I thought that there were definitely issues. This one butterfly. Did you feel that that was the best that you could have done with that move? No. So you really nailed, you know, 98% of it. But the 2% was so not okay that, so knowing that it. One move. Yeah, oh. one move. Yeah, but I think when you get to flex and you get to be sharp and you get to be tough, you nail it. Yes. I'm talking about her lines and she doesn't have to do an arabesque and she didn't have to do a ponche. That's when she loses it. And that's what you're not seeing in this type of number. 
but great job tonight. Thank you for stepping up the ball. I am kind of nervous for elimination, but I've gone through this before, and I've been at the chopping block, so I'm used to it. I just don't want to get eliminated. I think I'm going to be in the top four. It is a huge concern of mine that Jordan's going to be on the chopping block. I'm just nervous because that lady scares me. Here we go, kids. I just felt dance-wise, technically and choreographically, they, they, they are the best. Okay. She could have done what any of them did tonight. She's the best dancer here. She's good, but she doesn't After that performance it. on stage, this to me always gives she me does. everything. She does. She's not a she's not a, a master at everything. She's my kind of dancer. I love her. Of course she should be amazing technically because she has nothing else. She's not a hip hop girl. She'll get worn out. What about Asia? Asia is the Tasmanian devil. She is. But and I still know how long the cute is gonna stay and gonna keep her. She's a pigeon toed, squatty little nothing. Judges, hello, have you come to a consensus? We've made a decision. Some type of agreement. World War III is going on right here. But we're safe to bring the dancers back up. Let's say some are safer than others. When Brianna and I get on stage, we are sweating bullets. I have sweat dripping off of me. Dancers, it's time to find out who's going home. Amanda. Brianna. Congratulations. You are moving on in this competition. Amanda did it. She delivered the Latin fire, and I couldn't be more proud of her. Even though Madison's ankle is bothering her, I am so proud of her because she pulled it off, and the judges all liked it. The challenge this week was flexibility. We're going to do a flexibility test right here on the stage. Me and Asia look at each other, and we're both like, oh no, who's going down? I'm freaking out a little bit because we both haven't stretched. It comes down to they couldn't decide. I'm kind of nervous at this point in the game because after all, it's Abby's ultimate dance competition. It's not Richie's or Robin's. Let's start facing stage right. We're going to slide to a right split. Don't touch the floor. Make sure your arms are in second. And can we get that leg right down on the floor? Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Right to, your, to the pull floor. It. I know that she's going to fight to stay here, even if she has to pull her leg off. Pull, baby, pull. Push up to a back bend. Nice and strong. Push up. Walk your hands to your feet. Get as close as you can. It's grueling watching this challenge. Good girl, baby. Good girl. Come on up tall. I want you to bop, bop. Now, this is balance as well. Can you take it any further? Jordan's on stage, and I notice her face change, and she's like. And she turns back to her mom. And goes, I think I pulled a muscle. She pulled a muscle in the back of her right leg. She pulled a hamstring. And at this point, I don't know how severe it is, but I know that she's struggling. And there was nothing I could do. There was nothing that I could do or say to help her. You OK? Cramp. Moms, please step forward again. There's things, obvious things, that need fixed on both girls. 
With that said, Jordan, today is not your day. Congratulations, Asia. You will be here for another week. Thank you so much. I'm the youngest contestant here. If Amanda goes home, I'll be against the 13-year-olds. And I can do that sleazy peasy, lemon squeezy. Break a leg, babe. I'm going to go straight to ballet class, straight to technique class, straight to yoga, probably, too. This has been such an amazing time of growth for both of us that we're going to walk out of here better people. She'll continue to grow as a dancer and do amazing things because we're not done.